Good morning, everybody from Sao Miguel. This is the biggest island in the island chain known as the Azores, or some people pronounce it the Azores, off the coast of Portugal. And if you could tell by the background here, it's all volcanic. So it's kind of a mixture between Hawaii and Iceland. The western part of Sao Miguel is famous for its hiking trails around a series of volcanic lakes. You have to time your visit here to avoid the fog because this is what happens when the fog moves in, totally obscuring the stunning beauty of the volcanic landscape below. Driving around the area, you'll go by some of the ancient aqueducts built 500 years ago to bring water down from the mountains into Ponta Delgada. Today, they're beautiful relics covered in moss and interesting grasses and flowers. You're also likely to find them covered in fog, which can roll in at any time. You will want to rent a car from the airport in Ponta Delgada. The rates are reasonable, and having a car is really the only way to get to all of the amazing sights you'll want to see on the island. It may look really mountainous here, but you'll find hiking trails for all ability levels. They'll take you to amazing viewpoints and waterfalls, some of which are right off the side of the road. Sao Miguel's also home to a beautiful winery and vineyard transformed from an old citrus plantation. The Azores are also home to the oldest tea factory in Europe, where you can follow along as they steam the leaves, which are picked right outside. And more people actually come to the tea plantation to hike. This is why this maze of tea plants spans several acres and follows the natural contours of the hills. It is open to the public to go hike around for free anytime. The only sites you'll really have to pay to visit in the Azores are the famous hot springs. You could tell when they're nearby because steam literally shoots from the earth. The most famous hot spring has so much iron and sulfur in the water that it's mustard colored. Some of them have boiling mud pits and springs too hot to enter. Here is a real Instagram versus reality moment for you. These hot spring pools may look serene and inviting, but the reality is they are crowded. It's a bit too much of a communal bathing experience for me, but the European tourists love them. You'll find a much more secluded hot spring on a rocky beach where the hot water from underground mixes with waves of cold seawater. The beaches in the Azores really are full of these interesting discoveries. This natural pool used to be the spot where whalers dropped off the poor whales they'd harpooned for processing. These days, it's just for swimming. And that just scratches the surface of things to do on the islands of the Azores. Well, the Azores are becoming much more popular with American tourists. Right now, we have direct flights here from both Boston and New York City. It's about a five hour direct flight from the East Coast, so not too bad. As for when to come, I would avoid the summer months because it's way too crowded. I'd aim for maybe May or September. I'll see you next time.